What's up, guys? Obviously, I don't know why I went like I low there. This is how oh, you're, you're I was like, bleh, 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 bleh. <laughs> hey, you're what's going Cosby. on, everybody? It's a hot Cosby. Cosby. Yeah. Uh, this is Resistance 3 with Crossplay Pals. Uh, yeah, and we were just having a nice discussion about um, how we miss arena shooters. Yeah, in between the in between episodes, we, we got on the subject of like, um, because like like I think I think Call of Duty really pioneered that idea of the loadout. And, and they kind of ruined the shooters for everybody. <laughs> it did because, like, when you'd play Call of Duty, they, there were no weapons on the map anymore. Right, and that's because like it wasn't important because when you could change your loadout, having weapons right. on the map and like having important weapon placements didn't it didn't matter, matter so much. Um, but where for me, like the Halo, like the game, the multiplayer that I most identify with is Halos, um, because especially up until uh, three, like three was like the pinnacle for me because, like, let's say you take the map Guardian. Or even Blood Gulch. Even let's take like, let's take the Universal, like Blood yeah, Gulch. Blood Everyone Gulch knows is, Blood Gulch yeah. or Coagulation or you know any iteration of it. You spawn in the map, and the first thing you do is go towards whatever power weapons it was because you knew where everything spawned at, at a certain point. Everything yeah. spawned in the same spot. It was never random. You know that like the snipers up on the base. You know the rocket launchers in the middle. You know like the camouflages in the cave. You know the over the overshields off on the cliff. You know, like you know that. Right. And so the game starts, and you could like predict and like that was like a lot of what how i played it was like, like you know 40 seconds into the match each power weapon's been taken so then you start counting down the time it takes for it to respawn so it takes about three minutes for the game for like the uh the weapon uh, was i think two, yeah like you're playing minutes. it like you're playing a moba and you're, you're a Joseph. jungler exactly kind of. and you're like you Keeping know like, track of your uh yeah. camp cooldown and then you're oh, you're constantly looking okay my teammates are here one died there so you know that based on the spawns uh the waiting system like you know that your guy's gonna spawn there or when you kill the guy you knew that because his teammates were over here and you killed this guy here and like like there was, there was predictability there and because right. of that predictability everyone was on even even footing and so it made the game more competitive in my book whereas now you've got these loadouts yeah. and so it makes it like map control isn't as important um because like Cause you it isn't because you don't need to because you don't need to control power weapons anymore when everyone can spawn with a noob tube yeah. It doesn't matter, you know. Like, and but I don't know. Like, I didn't like that shift in multiplayer. I didn't either. And so I'm, I'm, I'm excited that like, like with Overwatch, it's, it's a, it's a kind of a melding of the best, like, of, of both worlds yeah. in that way. There's still no weapon spawns on the map, but everyone's kind of on equal footing in the sense that like you can spawn with whatever anyone else has. Right. If you like, want. if you spawn as Widowmaker, you're gonna have your, your sniper. Yeah. Or like stuff. It's like. a set thing it's a set quantity like you know a Widowmaker is gonna have this oh you want to play that role boom you can spawn as Widowmaker no problem you know like and so I guess that's a, I, like that's a nice shift in the right direction but even like classic games like you, you, you brought up Doom right like that's still not quite where you want it right you know like for multiple and, and if they would have done an arena shooter I would have liked it a lot more you think so I think so I mean because the thing is it's multiplayer it isn't bad but I don't like that it has loadouts I know I, okay. And that's why I'm so it. glad they're bringing back Unreal Tournament. The new one is it really like like they're bringing back oh, Unreal it's, Tournament? It's, like it's a it's an arena shooter. Oh, I played the beta. Damn, you got to find the shock rifle. You got to find your flat cannon. And I am apparently incredibly good at that game because like I played a couple matches. I mean, granted, this is a couple months ago, and I just grabbed a flat cannon and just I just killed up. everybody. Nice. Like I was the, like the top player like three times. So I played Unreal like, Tournament. I I mean, I fucking love Unreal games just because they're good on arena shooters. Yeah, and nobody makes them anymore. They're fast paced. They're fucking fast. Like I, for, like when I, uh, when I put in Unreal, I was like, holy fuck! Like, I forget how fast they are. Mm -hmm. You're just you're, you're just running. You, there's no run button because no. you're always <laughs> running. Always sprint. You yeah, know, you're just always, always sprint. sprinting. You can like, there's some cool like uh, like, I think there's like a wall run mechanic or something now. Like there's a lot really? of like mobility. Like it's. I, I haven't played it for a while, so I, I have to check. Last... And it's in alpha or something right now, so it's kind of still early. Was but... it called Unreal Tournament 2000 or 3000? The one that came, it was on the original 2000. Xbox. I think it was 2000. That was the last Unreal Tournament game I played. Um, whoa, destroy the ice. Okay. Um, the last Unreal I played was 3, which was the last game that came out. <laughs> mm. How many years has that been now? It's been a while. And I have 2004, too. I, I actually, that was technically the last one I actually played. Okay. Because I bought it on my PC because they had, like, an Unreal pack. And I was like, oh, I'd love to play 2004. For that sure. that one was pretty good. So, you know, that was technically the last one I is played. Is Epic but. making this yep. Unreal? Like, this is an Epic it's, game? It's Yeah, you have to... You can get the beta for free on uh, PC. Ah. Uh, 
I mean, I know is it getting a console release? I, I think but they are working on it. Cool. Um, PC, I believe, is going to be first. Um, yeah, for listeners, if you want to play the, the the Unreal beta, all you have to do is I think go on their website and like download their launcher, Did you hear and then you just like opt in or whatever, or just download it. Oh, like, cool. You don't have to. There's no like. It's not like it's a closed alpha or anything. I think it's still an alpha and it's not beta yet. But yeah, it, it's still Uh-oh. unpolished. To a Keep degree, because it it's still early on in development, but it's it's awesome. It's it's a really fun game. Um, what are these ones called again? These guys are like the they're like ferals or something. Yeah, something like that. Like, I just I'm just thinking of feral. Uh oh. Oh Holy dear God. Fuck them all. Oh, oh shit. they spit they're, on me. What are they doing? Silent Hill all over. Get again. your mitten out because apparently it's your cum mitt. Your, your cum <laughs> rag. <You're> like, <laughs> your well, I mean, you know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Here shot we were, him in the air. We were air. having an intellectual discussion, and then comrade. Here we go. Well, <laughs> ready I mean, yourself you know, up. <laughs> at some point, you got to bring up the comrade. I mean, right? like, do I have incendiary rounds fucking in this thing? A, I dude. feel like that was an upgrade. Because <laughs> you're just fucking him. <laughs> yeah, I like this gun. <laughs> this gun's fun. I don't, dude, I don't care what shooter it is. I always gravitate to a fucking shotgun. Oh, they're fun. Dude, like when you play Doom, you're gonna have so much fun when you get the the shock the combat because you start off pretty much with a shotgun. Oh, okay. that thing! Like, fuck this! Because the, the, the Jesus, the no, second one you get is the super shotgun. House, like, uh -huh. That one pales in comparison to the first one you pick up. Really? The combat shotgun? That so is my strong. that's my jam, dude. There's the shotgun. I bring up this is like the third time I brought up Half Life. What? That's so <laughs> weird. I I haven't talked about Half Life in fucking <laughs> months. And in, in months. In months. <laughs> that game's um, years old. You haven't <laughs> talked about it in months. I haven't talked. About, I love Half Life Two, but I still um, haven't finished it. You never finished. I started it, and I was like, eh. "Oh my god, you're crazy! It's so good." Well, like uh, I bought bought it in the orange box, like I don't know, three years ago, uh -huh. and it was just. We must find open water. Actually, probably like four years ago. I have, but yeah. it was like it, it. It just it doesn't hold up. What? Great. You are crazy. That game holds up better than almost any like, shooter. I could, of its, I could of its rather, time. I'd rather play Resistance Three. Fair. No, I mean this. Like, is, I mean, I mean is, is you know what I mean? Like, I'd rather play this or I don't know, Doom or something. Like, yeah, yeah. I, I, I guess I'd have to think of something that came out at the time. Mm -hmm. Um, Battlefield Bad Company Two, like that. Something you know, like I that. missed like, the Battlefield Bad Company games. I never dude. played them. Bad Company I Two. To, but I that is a, that is like my favorite online multiplayer. Like, really? I, I was saying, how we, Time Splitters Two was like my favorite like shooter multiplayer. Oh, that's how we yeah, because that's how we um, got on the discussion of a real right. multiplayer. Because right, God, Time, Time Splitters Two is fucking amazing. Um, but that two wasn't online. Um, and you know that that is probably the the best multiplayer experience I played. But I mean, that is as far game. as um online Jesus. goes, like. Fucking Bad Company too. That is so much fun. No, bad. The Online. Bad Company games were the first of the Battlefield games to fully feature the Frostbite engine, right? Where they, yes. where everything was destroyable. Because yep. like, I think I remember they bad actually company scaled it one. back for the other ones. They yeah. scaled back destruction, which really was disappointing. Because like in Battlefield Bad Company, everything. Was yes. Fuckable, every right? every building, like small or large, like oh, if you saw it, you could probably blow it up. Awesome. Whereas three and four couldn't do it as much, and I thought that was lame. So I'm like, the, the whole like. I, I you know I love Battlefield um, since 1942, mm -hmm. but that makes me sound really old. Since the game 1942, uh, and like the game was never about destruction, but when they made it about destruction, that's all I wanted. You know, like I didn't yeah. like I was like yeah, give me more of this well, because it's, like, it's something Call of Duty doesn't do. No, yeah. and it and it's a great way to fight camping. Sure, and you because just, you like, can blow you up. Got, there. You know that bitch is in behind that that wall. Well, fuck the wall. Yeah. Goodbye, wall. Boom. Wall. You know, like it absolutely. was awesome. And then now they don't do that anymore. And I'm really hoping Battlefield One changes it. And it sounds like they are, for because they they I think heard what people want. Uh, and you know, Dice is behind. Sure. You know, I mean, absolutely. Dice made three and four, but I think EA gave them a little bit more leeway with this. Because I mean, I don't think this game would have gotten made if EA was in charge. No. I mean, it's made, they're making a World War One game. Yeah, like I if, if although if, that looks really cool. If, well, yeah, if, I know. I'm just saying that like, if if they weren't like giving the dice more uh, leeway on it, I don't think it would be a World War One. Like I feel like that was dice pushing, and EA's like, all right, fine, we'll let you do what you want, because mm -hmm. uh, you know. 
to sell more copies. Because uh, from what I've seen, it looks like shit's very destructible. Fucking blowing up. So that's exciting because I have been like, Battlefield 3, 4, and Hardline did not feel anywhere near as good to play yeah. as back because it was just so much like I, I was I, I'd have a fucking smile on my face the whole time because it, it, it was just up. so much fun because you got you to blow the shit through up. the fucking house you could, yeah you, you could know, run like, a fucking house down with a tank like that shit was awesome and then they're like nah you don't need that nah you don't you don't want we know able what to do you that. we know what you want we want to put triggers that. where you can make big things explode but only once and like which was cool yeah like but why not have your cake and eat it too. Yeah. Definitely. Why not have both? There was no reason for them to to take everything away. No. Like, you know, it's not all or nothing. Give us some cool shit. Like, <laughs> I just thought that, I mean, that, that just seemed like such an EA yeah, thing to do. Yeah. Absolutely. Like, all right, we're cutting the budget here. No more blowing up a bull things and this and that. Like, well, like, there was nothing that felt like next gen even nowadays like nothing feels more next gen to me than being able to blow a hole in a wall right like, any that's so wall. fucking cool the first time like, i played that game and i like threw some c4 on a wall or fuck even went to a fence and put my knife through it yeah like just blowing a hole in a wall. Like, Whoa. yeah like that's next gen right there, because like, you, know? the, like you, you could never do that like you know playing battlefield uh like 1942 vietnam 2142 you battlefield see, like, 2 a plane you'd fly into a building and just and the it building would just be fine. it'd still be standing be like, that like, doesn't work. no i know what happened on 9 11 i know that doesn't work <laughs> I, the buildings go down and people die yeah, like no, absolutely because like like and that was the thing that was so appealing to the about those games. And then like the fact that right. they back on it kind of sucked. Yeah, it was, like, it was a step in the wrong direction. Yeah. I'm like, you guys are going backwards. You reinvented the wheel, and now you're turning into Call of Duty again. Yeah. Like that was because Battlefield already, always felt special to me as a, as a shooter. I'm like, wow, there's vehicles and stuff. This is really cool. Yeah. But then it, it kind of started to feel like, I mean, then Call of Duty became kind of bigger and blah, blah, blah. And then it's they kind of just started to feel similar. Mm -hmm. So then Battlefield's like, all right, yes, we're gonna we let you blow shit river. up. Bad. And it's like, here we fuck, because Call of Duty doesn't let you do that. They still mm -hmm. don't no. let you do that at all. Like not even a little bit. No. There's, Whereas there's at least no three fucking stuff, with the You can still do it a little bit. Oh, you can. Oh, you can. You can break. You can break. Glass. Yeah. You can. You can, you can break, break glass. glass. You can break you can, glass. Can, there's like two buildings per map you can blow up. Like, yeah. and four is there's just the one, the one big one. Um, yeah, and that's it. Which is cool because it kind of chain terraforms the level a bit, but still, like. It was. It made. It, it's what made the game so s different from Call of Duty. Absolutely. And and it defined. Made it. Yeah. It, in it, a lot of ways. Yeah. And it. It's. Yeah. It. It made the game its own. Like it. 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 it defined its own like uh, audience that way. And then by stepping back on that, you just made it Call of Duty again. And really, you're you're hurting your own brand because now uh, people are gonna be like, okay. What should I buy? Battlefield Call of Duty. Well, all my friends are buying Call of Duty because everybody fucking buys Call of Duty. Everybody buys Call of Duty. Uh, and, you know, really, Battlefield doesn't look that different, so why would I buy it? Except for I can fly jets. But now, I think, and that's why I think they made a really smart call by going, we are going to do a World War One game. Because World War One is a setting that is very vastly unexplored. For one, they, I don't think I've ever played, like, a, a multiplayer World War One. Yeah. Like, and I honestly, you know, it's funny because people got so sick of World War II because it was done to death. And then they're like, hey guys, we're going to do Modern Warfare stuff. And then that got fucking old fast. Mm. And then they started to ruin future by just, like, they didn't come up with new ideas. They just kept doing the same, like, here's this future laser gun. Like, like Insomniac, they came up with cool gun ideas. But they Very didn't do that with, like, Call of Duty and stuff. They're like, it's the same fucking gun, but it looks like future. It's future looking. It's future skin. Yay, future shotgun. Like, that's all they did. And then people got fucking sick of it, and then to the point where people were like, let's go back in time again, because I'm sick of this shit. Can we heal? Um, oh my god. I, oh, this, this was here the whole time. Damn. <laughs> I would have used that a while ago. <laughs> I made it pretty far in that low health. Woo -woo! Uh, um, yeah, so I, I, I'm really looking forward to what they do with uh, Battlefield 1. Maybe we can even do some cool shit with the channel on there. Fuck yeah, dude. On Titanfall, we could do some cool stuff with that, too, because Titanfall 2 looks fun. Titan I think Titanfall 2 adding a single player is going to be the biggest thing for me. And like That was a smart move. Honestly, I love the, the multiplayer for that game. Titan yeah, was Titanfall was fun. fun to play. I just I felt like they set up this really cool universe that I couldn't explore, and that was really bumming. Yeah, I mean, that, that's true, because they did come up with like a cool like idea for everything, and then it just kind of like... Well, now play multiplayer. <laughs> right. Like, the multiplayer is a blast. Absolutely. But it did get old eventually. And I think part of that problem was they didn't have enough um, 
they didn't have enough like game mode variety that people played. Everyone just wanted to play Deathmatch. The attrition or whatever. It was yeah, called. I think it was called like, Attrition. Like nobody wanted to play any of the other things. And that kind because they weren't that fun. Which I think fucked them. And then their season pass fucked them because nobody bought it. And then the people who bought it got screwed. So that's why for the CC, uh, Titanfall 2, they're like, no, we're not doing that. See, every Definitely. new every new map but is the game played really well. Right. Like, they think the game played beautifully. Like it was it was very fun right. to have in your hand. You know, exactly. It's, it's like when you're and holding Tommy D. Yeah, exactly. It just feels right. <laughs> well, and then and I feel like they really learned their lesson from the first game. Sure. And, you know, and they're adding a single player. They're making all maps free. I think they might. They said they might do like you know, DLC guns or something. But uh, or maybe actually they think they might have just said it was skins and stuff because they don't. I think they didn't want to make it pay to win, which is uh, which is important because that's another hard thing with you know I hate about like shooters and stuff nowadays, especially competitive ones, is that it's like. You can't have pay to win DLC. No. You can't have guns be be DLC. The only things that should be DLC are cosmetic ever. Mm -hmm. In in games with multiplayer, should only be skins. You should not be able to pay for an advantage. No, no guns and maps should always be free because all it, you do when you make people pay for map is you separate the player base. Yep. And that's never a good thing. Because like okay, oh Kyle, let's go play um, Battlefield One. Oh, you don't oh, have this map. Oh, you don't have the map pack. Well, I guess I guess I'm gonna go the same map. We yeah, I guess I'm gonna go back to playing these fucking old maps. I'm sick of. Like the, the thing is, everybody should be excited when the new maps come out. Absolutely. Like oh, here's five new maps. Everyone should be like, fuck yes. And they're like okay, and now you know if you want to support us, buy a, a couple skins or something. You know, like that way nobody has to buy anything. That you know. To, to have more fun. Yeah. It's just like, oh, okay, I'll make my gun gold or something. Like, that... I, I have no problem. Like, Overwatch, I like buying, you know, the loot boxes and stuff. It's like, oh, maybe I'll get a cool skin. Mm -hmm. Like, and I don't do it all the time. It's just a fun little... Like, oh, you know, wait, that, that. Nice thing. And, uh... You know, when, you know, you don't get any advantage out of it. They're just fucking cosmetic. Like, yeah. who gives a goddamn? Like, some people just don't give a fuck about them. And that's fine. Yeah. And that's, and that's exactly how it should be. And that's how it should be. Because them not giving a fuck doesn't affect me. And and the characters are free. Giving a fuck doesn't affect them. And you know, like all ever you know, Anna was free for everybody. Every character for the rest of time will be free for everybody. Exactly. Which is exactly how people should be making games. Um, you know how people should be making games? Uh well, are we gonna find out next episode? <laughs> We're gonna find out next Because episode. Okay, we made another seventeen minute episode. <laughs> And Nick's that gonna so be sad. mad at us. <laughs> he's gonna bend us over he's and gonna, spank us. He's gonna Tommy Dean us. He's gonna he's gonna whip that big he's old dick Jimmy out. Us. Start okay. rubbing it. That nice morning sun. Spreading sausage. the lube Just right around the anus. You know, you, you, ever, you think eggs would be good lubrication? I don't think so. You crack an egg over somebody's ass. Oh, I kind of go to town. Well, then he can eat that booty like it really were groceries. <laughs> that, eat the eat the yolk out of that booty. <laughs> and with that, listeners, <laughs> finger bang that like and subscribe <laughs> button. Eat the yolk out grapefruit. of that booty. <laughs> suck it right out. Grapefruit. The shit Just like out you're of it. sucking out their soul. Good old grapefruit method. That's Watch that video. Method. What a fun time. What a good time. She knows what she's talking about. <laughs> good old Angel. Fuck? Why are we here now? Why are we here? <laughs> Nick, please put a little clip of Angel on there. <laughs> All right. See you guys Bye. later. <laughs> what the fuck was that?